So I just pulled some plums off of my solar food dryer. And I think now I should try some carrots and see how they go. This is a mixed bed full of all sorts of things, but one of the main things I have in here are carrots. They're still pretty young, uh, but I think I'm gonna pull some and let's just try, try a few and see how it goes. So here are the carrot tops. I'm just gonna reach in here and grab that many. Blah. Give a little yank. Come on, I'm caught. Don't pull out too much. All right. Carrots. So uh, let's clean them up, go into the house, and cut them up, and put them out on the solar dryer, and let's see what happens. So I know, like, carrot tops, not carrot top, the uh, comedian, but carrot tops, people do stuff with them. Uh, you know, I'm sure they're edible because the bottom of the, the root actually, you know, does the edible part, but I don't do anything with carrot tops. What do you do with carrot tops that's good? I know y'all could probably throw them in a smoothie or something, but if they're not good, I don't want to do that just for the nutrients. Oh, I don't know. All right, so I'm just going to uh, slice these. Obviously, some slices are going to be bigger and some are going to be smaller because carrots get bigger as they go to the end. I'm cutting uh, that big half inch, maybe. Probably should do a little less. So, yeah, let me finish that. All right, so into the bowl they went, and now let's go out to the solar dryer. All right, so here we are out at the solar dryer. What's really funny is uh, yesterday we had a brainstorm that came out of nowhere. Nobody was expecting it. And I had these plums out here that were almost all dry. <laughs> then they got soaked and I wasn't even thinking about it. Uh, so they've rehydrated. So I gotta re-dry them again. They were perfect. I should have pulled them off, but alas, I did not. And uh, lesson learned, but I guess I can just dry them again. It's no no big deal. It's not like it's taking any power or anything. But, geez, should have pulled them off earlier. All right, so on this side, let's put down these carrots. And I do have a video on this whole uh, solar dryer thing that we put together here. It's homemade. It wasn't purchased. And uh, very easy to do. Oh, that's way too thick. Um, so I'm just going to spread these out, just give them some room. And yeah, I could can these, and you know, a lot of people do can carrots. I don't like canned carrots. Uh, I either freeze them for use in soups and stews, or I like them dried just as a quick way to add some color and nutrition into something. Um, but yeah, I just, I've never, never gotten a taste for them um, canned. So, anyway, that's that. Uh, we'll see how long this takes. I suspect um, it'll take about a week, and that should be it. And then I'll put them into a container that is uh, pretty airtight and put them away for long-term storage. So this is kind of a test run. My carrots are still a little small, but when they're big, uh, we can do a whole rack full of them. So, yeah, let's give this a try and see how long it takes. I'll let you know. Uh, how long it does take and uh, then you can look at making one of these yourself. I'll put the link down below if you want to see how to make this whole or how we made this whole thing and then you can give it your own flair. So anyway, see you in a little bit. All right, so we're here about a week later and the carrots are done. Look how tiny they got. Very itty bitty tiny, but they're hard as rocks. Uh, they are flexible still. They do have a little flex left in them. Uh, but they're pretty dry. Dry enough for me. So I've got my canister of what I've been drying so far this year. And I'm going to add these into there. Some zucchinis on top and some tomatoes and stuff. So I'm going to gather these up and toss them in. So I have all this stuff together because at some point I'll just dump this into a soup or a stew. And every once in a while um, I'll dig 
stuff out that I just need. You know, if I just needed carrots, I could separate them. When I do all the carrots that I'm harvesting, I'll make a container just of carrots alone. But um, this one, I just put a little bit of everything in so it's just ready to go. And it's all been dehydrated on this very dehydrator. I've got some plums still going over here. And uh, yeah, that's it. So if you want to see what this looks like, how we put it together, go ahead and um, follow that link down below. And definitely great to be able to dehydrate for free using the sun. Let me know if you have any questions.